Hey everybody, Keith Campbell here with Keith and Sheila Realty Group, powered by Fathom Realty. We want to talk about new construction. Um, with this market shift, we've seen some, you know, some track home builders, uh, big name ones and small name, who during the summer decided they didn't want to pay realtors anymore. Um, quite honestly, there's many of them that have never wanted to pay realtors because they don't want you to be represented. Not all of them, but some of them. And here's why. So I want to talk a little bit about the difference between a new home construction contract and a TREC, Texas Real Estate Commission, one to four family resale contract. So let's start off with, let me go and uh, share a screen with you here real quick. Cool. Um, but the truth is, uh, I'm not picking on DR Horton. I sell their houses. I like them. Um, but if you look up here, you, you notice something. Right up here at the top, it's one of 68 pages. Now, to put that in perspective, that is an amazing amount of pages, okay? So what we want to do is we want to compare that to a Texas Real Estate Commission one to four family resale contract, which is what, you know, almost every home that's not new construction, that's the kind of contract that is used. It's 11 pages. Really, it's nine, because the back two pages are just for realtor information and for receiving of contract earnest money, additional earnest money, that kind of thing has really, is no bearing on the contract other than um, legally between brokers and the title company. So 68 pages versus 11. Now, to be fair to DR Horton, I had one a couple of years ago uh, with a company who I won't mention their name, but their contract, New Home Construction, was 113 pages. That is so much information, and it is written 100% to protect the builder, the seller. Look, when you walk into these new home uh, models, the sales reps there are, uh, I know some, I'm friends with some, I respect a lot of them, and a lot of them I don't respect. Their job is not to serve your best interest. Their job is to serve their boss, their company, the builder's best interest. As long as you understand that and you go in there with that mindset, and please, 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 I don't care where you are in the country, do not buy a home without a real estate professional who is your advocate and your fiduciary. While I've had sales reps uh, caught, not recently, but in the past, over the past 11 years or so, say, oh, we can sell you the house cheaper if you're not represented by a realtor. Well, who do you think that benefits? Doesn't benefit you. Do they pay us a commission? Absolutely they do. But we also are going to read that contract. We are going to negotiate for your best interest. We're going to make sure there's no shenanigans going on. Um, there are so many things that can happen, especially in new construction, because now with materials hold up and lack of materials, it can take a year to get a house built. A lot can happen. You need to know your rights. You need to know your options. You need somebody who's going to fight for you. And there's a lot of great realtors out there in the San Antonio market and throughout Texas that will do that for you. And yes, we do get paid. This is what we do for a living. The amount of information, the amount of education, the amount of experience you acquire over really after a few years as a realtor is to the benefit of your client because you're going to learn things that are going to serve your client really well. That's you, the end buyer. So Never, ever buy a new construction without a, a home inspection. In fact, I recommend phased inspections. When I was a home inspector for almost 15 years, I did hundreds and hundreds of phase inspections. And the phase inspection can be anywhere from a three-phase to a, really from a two-phase to a three-phase. Three-phase is the most uh, uh, popular. That's where they do a uh, foundation inspection, a framing inspection, a final inspection. Now, when I did three phases, I did pre-poor foundation, post-poor foundation, framing, and then final. Uh, and then I've seen clients get a five phase where uh, they're checking even, you know, pre post framing, pre finish, 
uh, pre-framing, uh, post-foundation. So there's things you can do there depending on the value of the home and the quality of the builder and whatnot. So get an inspection, at least a final inspection. I will be honest with you. I've never inspected a house. I've inspected houses as cheap as $50,000 all the way up to three and a half million. And I've never inspected a house, whether they're hundred years old or they were just finished being built that I didn't find minimum 10 to 12 items. Uh, the older the house, the more items you find. But even on some new construction, you'll find some very glaring uh, mistakes. And look, to be fair to builders, there's a lot of subcontractors working on that house. Uh, the superintendents that oversee the construction are spread thin. Uh, look, we all make mistakes, but a good builder is going to want it to be fixed because they want to stand behind their product. So hiring a realtor doesn't cost you a penny. A seller always pays realtor fees unless negotiated otherwise. And if you need help with that, if you need help finding a good inspector, if you need help finding a realtor that's not in the San Antonio area, because in San Antonio area, we want you to hire us. But outside San Antonio area, we, we've got great connections, partnerships. We can connect you up. Hope you have a blessed day. Hope this information was um, uh, valuable and meaningful for you. If we can be of service in any way, call or text us at 830-837-1071 or go to email, email us at keithcampbellrealtor at gmail.com or go to our website, keithandsheila.com. Have a blessed day. Take care.